What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So as most of you know, we're right in the middle of the Blender Market Summer Sale. I thought what I'd do is I'd just create some tutorials for some of the add-ons that are on sale. So just kind of showing people that are getting the more popular add-ons how to use them as well as giving you an idea of what they're capable of in case it's something that you might be interested in. So a lot of those are on sale for 25% off, um, including to today's video which is decal machine so decal machine is an add-on specifically created to uh, allow you to quickly add decals and detail to your models so let's go ahead and just jump into it all right so I thought what I'd do is I'd just take a model so in this case this is gonna be a model from Sketchfab it's the cyberpunk rifle model and I wanted to show you how easy it is to add decals inside of decal machine um, in order to quickly add detail and make things look a little bit more realistic so this model is the cyberpunk rifle by DJ Mason so it's a fairly low poly model and uh, it looks really great right if you look at it it's got um it looks very clean it's got some scratches applied but i think we can add a little bit more interest with some decals to this so i thought i'd show you how to use that with decal machine and so i'm going to bring that in using the sketchfab add-on in blender so i'm just going to import the model really quick all right and remember sometimes with sketchfab models they come in kind of big so all we're going to do is we're just going to make this smaller so we're just going to come over here to our hierarchy do a select hierarchy and we're just going to so i right clicked on it and click select hierarchy then we're just going to scale this down like this and so we'll scale it down to what feels like kind of a reasonable size and then we'll just rotate this by negative 90. i'll go ahead and turn my screencast keys on so you can actually see what i'm doing So just like this. And then one other thing that I like to do, so this has actually been modeled separately, which is cool because you can animate it, right? You could animate like the different parts and pieces moving backwards if it was shooting. But for what we're doing right here, I'm just gonna select all these pieces and then just do an F3 and search for join. We're just gonna do an object join. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna join this into an individual object. So now we can start adding decals with decal machine. So. Um, first thing you need to do is go to edit preferences and make sure that you've enabled decal machine over here, right? So that means that you're going to be able to access different uh, decal libraries. I'll link to some videos on how to create those. But for now, we're just going to use the default decals. So you want to make sure that's enabled. Well, then once you've enabled it, then you can just tap the D key to toggle the decal machine menu on and off and so we want what we want to do specifically is we want to add maybe some like different bolts um, kind of like these onto our model using decal machine so the way we want to do that so we just want to tap that D key right here and we'll just jump over into our example models so or our example decals so these come bundled with decal machine you can download other decals as well but we want to focus on these for this video and specifically, let's go ahead and let's go with probably this one right here, right? Because it looks like there's basically like a rivet in the sheet metal of our rifle. So we're just going to click on this right here. And notice how what that does is that brings in your decal and then places it on this surface. One thing we may want to do first because we scaled this down is we probably want to go to our object and apply our rotation and scale. But then we're just going to do a D and we're just going to find this right here and we're going to click on it. So we're going to click right here. What that's going to do is that's going to place that on the face of our rifle. Well, in this case, we just want to bring it down, make it smaller. So we're just going to tap the S key and we're just going to scale it down just like this, right? So we've got this in here and I'm just going to move it down a little bit or let's move it up because we got a little bit more space. But basically what we've done is we've applied this to this face so that it looks like there's geometry right here. We're going to go to our view settings and we're going to bring our clipping start down to 0 0.001 so that it's not clipping out our rifle anymore. But what we've done is we've basically added this decal on this face. The cool thing about this is you can do a shift D and you can duplicate this and move it along the X axis like this. And it's really easy to just add additional decals to this face if you decide that you wanna do that. And so one thing before we do that is, so I wanna adjust this decal a little bit. And so what I wanna do is I wanna adjust it so that the color comes through from the rifle. So instead of this having this like weird kind of light shade around the outside of it, I just want to tap the D 
key right here. And we just want to go to the match function right here. So notice how that pops up a little window right here where we can match our materials. And so what we want to do is notice how we can adjust both our subset, which is going to be the material right here, or our material around the outside, which is going to be the perimeter. So we can adjust the material on the outside by holding the shift key and scrolling up and down. Well, what you can do is you can scroll this until we get a material that matches our rifle. So in this case, we just want this to be the default, right? And so when we have the default, what that's going to allow us to do is that's going to allow us to match this up with our rifle. So then you can just click to jump out of this. So notice how this decal gives you this really realistic rivet on the face of your rifle. Then you can do a shift D to duplicate it, move it around like this to create some extra copies. But notice how this looks absolutely realistic. So if we were to jump over into our solid mode, notice how we haven't added any kind of geometry in here. But inside of our material mode, we've added this in here and it matches just perfectly. And so you can use this to add a lot of different things, right? You can add more than just these rivets. You could come in here and you could add um, really any of these decals. So let's say, for example, you wanted to add a screw in here. You just do the same thing. So you just scale it down, move it along this face right here, and then move it up. And again, we just match the materials. So we just do a D, V, and we just scroll this until our materials match. So we'd match the first one, then we'd do a shift scroll. So we tap the D key, and then we'd do a shift scroll, and move our mouse up until this matches as well. And so this is great for other things too, like um, if you wanted to add like labels. So you could create your own custom labels if you wanted to, or you can use the ones that are built in. These are more for aircraft, but you could add maybe something like this decal right here, scale it down, and place it on this face. And so one thing you might've noticed right here is it's not necessarily matching up and that's because it's trying to use it as a flat decal, but you've got a little bit of curved geometry in here. Well, if you tap the D key and go to the project button right here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take that and it's gonna project it so that it matches up with that geometry. And one thing that comes along with that is when you do match that up, sometimes it goes a little flat on the face um, so that it gets kind of clipped out right here. Well, you can just go to D and use the adjust function in order to adjust this. So in this situation, for example, what we want to do is we want to adjust the height a little bit. So we're going to hold Alt. We're going to move our mouse to the right. And so notice what that's doing is that's adjusting how far this is projected off of that face. So you can adjust that so you don't get any of that like clipping or anything like that. So one thing to note about that is once we projected that, um, that means we can't move this around anymore. So if you want to get back what you had before, you can just do a D and get your backup right here. So that's just gonna bring back the old version of this that's gonna act as an actual decal. So you can get that back if you decide that you want it. All right, so remember this add-on is on sale. I will link to that on this page as well as some tutorials about setting up your own custom decals and bringing in libraries so that you can really kind of grow the amount of stuff that you have to add detail inside of your models. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.